Over 2,000 years ago in ancient Greece, an inventor unveiled a machine which was hailed as a mechanical marvel. It was a musical instrument that made an unearthly sound, and it would profoundly change the course of Western music. For centuries, the voice of the pipe organ has echoed through Western civilization. From the amphitheaters and arenas of the Roman Empire to the monasteries and cathedrals of medieval Europe. Mozart crowned it the king of instruments, the largest, grandest, and most challenging musical instrument of all. And though we know it best in its sacred role, the organ's incredible versatility enables it to play many different parts in our lives. It's there to help us mark life's milestones, weddings, baptisms, and funerals. And from its very beginnings, the pipe organ has accompanied the human voice in song. In the early days of Hollywood, the organ breathed life into the silent images of the silver screen. And even after all these centuries, the pipe organ's possibilities are still being explored by new generations of musicians and composers. The University of Michigan has one of the largest and most prestigious organ programs in the country. It is also home to organist and composer William Albright, whose unorthodox approach to the instrument has helped to shatter its stereotypes and expand its musical boundaries. I realized, uh, though I learned a great deal of the traditional literature for organ and performed it, that my specialty would probably be with new music for organ. I've adapted uh, styles, especially from American popular and American folk music. For example, I've written country and western and bluegrass pieces for the organ. Uh, I've borrowed from ragtime. I do this in all my music, so it's not unusual for me to apply it to the organ as well. Tonight, Albright will participate in a long-standing Michigan tradition, the Halloween concert. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Each year, the Halloween concert at Hill Auditorium sells out weeks in advance, drawing thousands of costumed revelers for an irreverent program of classical and contemporary music. Say the magic word and win a duck. This year's concert is special because Bill Albright will join the 125-piece student orchestra to perform one of his most challenging compositions for organ and orchestra. The program will also include works by Wagner, Berlioz, and Stravinsky. Though the atmosphere may be light, the music making is serious. And now the high point of the evening as the composer joins the orchestra to perform the Tarantella de Mente from his work, Gothic Suite. We are about to perform a piece for you written by our soloist this evening. Would you please welcome Count William Albright. The pipe organ, by its very nature, stands alone, containing all the voices of a symphony orchestra. Combining organ with a real orchestra creates an extraordinary musical experience.
One of the uh, important components uh, of the uh, Gothic suite and this movement, Tarantella Demente, is uh, the attempt to strike a note of terror in the heart of the listener. <laughs> Tarantella is supposedly a dance from the Middle Ages that was uh, to allow the uh, person stricken by a tarantula bite to uh, get rid of the poison in their uh, system. One of the most important expressions that I have as a composer is that of uh, spirituality. Uh, and the organ traditionally has been one of the closest expressions uh, of spirituality. It's probably why it's connected uh, with organized religion and the church as much as it has been. It becomes, in effect, the vox dei, uh, the voice of God that uh, makes either people believers or makes them cower in their seats. Uh, the spiritual aspect of me, as well as the ham in me, enjoys this kind of approach, whether it's from a religious orientation or whether it's from theatricality. Though it's perfectly at home playing contemporary music in the concert hall, the organ is perhaps best known in its timeless role of playing sacred music in the church. <laughs> 